Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the Kearney Ag Center today. I'm, I'm here with Akif Eskalen, grapevine plant pathologist uh, from the UC Cooperative Extension based in UC Davis, replacing Doug Gubler. I mean, many of you know Doug Gubler um, for, for many years in this position. We're grateful to have you here today and wanted to talk about what's known as mysterious grapevine collapse. That's correct. It's something that's become more prevalent and it's getting more attention. I know there's uh, you and, and several other collaborators on trying to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. For now, could you give us you know, an idea of, of what you guys are working on with that and what ideas you sure. know, of, of what it could possibly be? Sure. So mystery wine collapse is a uh, we think that as a disease complex that we haven't identified the primary cause yet. Um, it has been uh, occurring in mainly in Delta region around the Lodi area, but, but we recently start uh, hearing or seeing the samples from uh, Modesto in Santa Barbara and San Luis uh, Obispo areas. So the disease just show up uh, in the vineyard uh, and then causing the collapse or decline or we also call it apoplexy which means the grapevine is dying suddenly with the, the green leaves on it so that's what we call it sudden um, wine collapse so um, we still don't know the main cause of the, this collapse um, the, the before me there are a lot of researchers have been isolated different kinds of pathogen, but we cannot pinpoint the single pathogen that's causing it. So to identify the main cause, we uh, just uh, established a task force uh, with the different uh, scientists uh, from the different entities. Um, as a mycologist myself, we have a virologist, bacteriologist, and and plant physiologist uh, on board that we are trying to identify the whether this disease is causing by a single pathogen or combination of the pathogen in California. Now, you know, when you're looking at this disease or whatever it is in the vineyard, is it spotty? Is it just a, a few plants? Is there a pattern? You know, is it a cluster, you know, several grapes in a row or what? That's a very good point. So, uh, as many of you know, that the the, the grapevine trunk diseases uh, are are one of the common diseases uh, in vineyards in California. So, when you go to vineyard, you can see the, those kind of symptoms sporadically distributed in the vineyard. However, when it comes to mystery wine collapse, it starts with the sporadically, but it 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 is one spotted area then expand from that area and then cause a big empty space uh, within the vineyards. That's like the common pattern. Another common pattern is that the sudden collapse, the, the within, a, within a short time wine is dying. So if you have such, such um, the, the symptoms, um, those are the, like the, the initial uh, giving you an idea what this could be. Now, if they have that collapse issue and they remove the vines and plant a new one, have you? I know it's still in the initial phases, but are you seeing uh, the new vines collapse as well, the replacement vines? First of all, we are not at the stage of making any recommendation yet because we don't know what's the cause of it. Um, um, within, a, within a short time, uh, we are going to have uh, some preliminary results that we can share with you soon. Uh, but until then, um, so there is no recommendation that we can recommend. However, um, uh, during the, our survey that we have been doing in California, we have been uh, hearing from the, from the vineyard owners that the, when they replanted the plants, they could or they have been seeing some some similar symptom on their newly planted plants as well. So it's there is something out there is constantly causing the problem on these uh, vines that uh, we are, are uh, aiming to identify what is the cause. Great. Well, thank you. If, if there are growers out there that, uh, you know, look like it seems like they're having similar issues, would it be good for them to contact you guys? Sure. Uh, so as a cooperative extension specialist uh, at the campus of UC Davis, I work with the farm advisors 
who are employed by the University of California Cooperative Extension. So if you have such problem in your vineyard, I would encourage you to contact with your local uh, county farm advisors who have been uh, uh, informed about the issue. We have been working with them. So they are going to contact us and then we can uh, see if we can um, uh, the, the get more sampling. So I will, I will uh, contact with your local farm advisors through us. Yes. Great. Well, thank you, Akif. And we look forward to getting those results and figuring out what is going on here. And we'll also be addressing this topic uh, coming to the Tree and Vine Expo at the Stanislaus County Fairgrounds this November. So be sure to attend that. Um, but for now, you know, I'm Matthew Malcolm. CaliforniaAgnet.com.